Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of flipping from a bronze dagger to an AGS. Last episode we started with 32k and we ended up with 369k. We also had some really great flips, but the one that really stood out was our Sara Brew flip. When I saw Saradome and Brews trading for around half the usual price, I managed to get some and I decanted them for a 2 times return. We've got a fair bit more money to work with this time, so we should be flipping some more interesting items. I hope you enjoyed this episode, I'll see you after the intro. So for my first item I found bagged magic trees. With all of these gaps in the graph, this is the sort of item that you'll need to leave in for a very long time. However, it seems that for each one we manage to get, we should be able to turn it for around a 30k profit. The aim is to buy it for 26k and to sell it for 55k. On the recommended price tab, I found obby rings trading with a 30% return. Looking at the graph, it seems that this trend has been going on for the last few days, meaning that this would be a good flip to have going on in the background for the next day or so. I'll place my buy offer for around 1500. Weapon Poison has also had a good flipping range for the last day, going between 450 and 700. And for another one that I found on the recommended price tab, Steel Two-Hander Swords are going between 450 and 830. And for my fifth item, I've found Raw Cod. They're trading between 200 and 500, so I'll place my offer for 245. Fashion scape items always have the best returns. The only downside is that they're not traded very often. I'm going to place an offer for around 5k for these black elegant shirts, and I'll hope to flip them for around 16k. So now I have 100k left over, and I've got two GE slots left to fill. I'm going to place an offer for samurai boots for 31k, and I'm going to hope to sell them for around 50k. Since all of our flips so far have been pretty safe ones, I'm going to go for a risky one just to spice things up a bit. Get it? It's because I'm flipping curry leaves. Recently they've been trading between 230 GP and 600, but at the start of the day they were only trading for around 180 GP. I'm going to put my remaining money into these, buying them for 232 each. So these are the offers that I'm going to be leaving. A lot of them are infrequently traded, so I'm going to be checking back in around 12 hours or so to see how they go. So the curry leaves went through a lot more quickly than I expected. I hope I didn't make a mistake here. I'm going to update the offer and I'm going to put them up for 350 each. So I logged in 15 minutes later, just because checking offers can be totally addictive. The curry leaves sold for 59k, giving us a profit of 20k. That worked quite nicely, so I'm actually going to do it again. And while I'm still here, I can see that the steel two handers went through as well. I'm just going to update that offer, and I'm going to sell them for 835 each. 12 hours later, and it's the night of the first day. I'm really happy to see that the fashion scape items went through. Let's collect everything and see how we're doing. I'm going to leave the steel two-handers up, because they started selling the moment that I logged in. So I can see that the curry leaves are still pretty volatile, but not as much as before. I put an offer up for just under 300 GP. The samurai boots that we picked up for 32k look like they could sell for up to 60k if we leave them overnight. The black elegant shirts have maintained their trend, so I think that our plan of putting them up for 16k is still a good one. And the margin of weapon poison looks like it's gotten even better. Based on the most recent trades, I reckon I'll put them up for 870 GP. And finally, the raw cod that we managed to buy looks like it could still sell for around 490 GP. So that leaves us with 2 GE slots and 200k to work with. The first item that I found is Shaman Masks. Recently they've been trading for anywhere between 14k and 31k. I'll aim to spend about 80k on these. And just recently, Saradoman Cloaks have dipped down quite a bit from their normal price of 45k. On top of that, they're pretty volatile, which gives them a nice consistent margin. I'll put a buy offer for 35k and I'll see how they go. So it looks like we have a nice diverse set of items going here. We have two fashion scape items, some weapons, some high volume, and just some regular items with high margins with the with the masks and the Sara cloaks. I'll leave these running overnight and I'll be back in the morning. It's morning of day two. Looks like most of our offers are more or less completed. Just gonna collect everything up. So our total cash stack now is 370k and it looks like we've got around 200k worth of items here. Some very nice profits all around last night. Let's begin with the curry leaves. We profited 18k on this last trade here, 
and the samurai boots went extremely well. We bought them for 64k and we sold them for 119k for a 55k profit. For the black elegant shirts we earned a 3 times return. We bought them for 10k and we sold them for 30k. And finally the weapon poison bought for 38k, sold for 74k. The margin on steel two-handed swords has closed substantially. I'm going to put them up at 446. And based on the graph, it looks like we can still sell the shaman masks for 31k. And the Sara cloaks that we bought for 30k look like they can sell for 44,600 each. And now we have 370k to spread around 5 GE slots. The first item that I found for today is discs of returning. It looks like I could buy them for 25k each, and the plan would be to sell them for around 60 or 70k. So the next item that I found is Ephrate's Aid. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Just recently they've crashed quite a bit, but looking at the one day graph, it looks like they're still good to flip based on this little flat channel here. And based on the latest price, I'm going to put an offer for 500 each, and the plan is to sell them for around 1k each. And based on the latest price, I'll try to buy some teleports to Harmony Island for around for around 1367 each, and the plan is to sell them for 2k. Looks like our Sara Cloaks finished selling. We made a 28k profit on the Sara Cloaks. We bought all of them for 105k, and we sold them for 133k. So I found Bandos Miters. The margin on these has been pretty good all day, but just recently it's really opened up. It looks like I could buy some for around 35k and sell them for anywhere between 50k and 70k. And nice, one of the Shaman Masks sold. It looks like Shazy and House Hoods could be good to flip. Based on the recent trades, the plan is to buy it for 55k and sell it for 100k. Nice, the Bandos might have started selling. I'm going to put them up for 65k each, and I'll use my remaining money to buy more of them. And again, nice, we managed to pick up some discs of returning. The plan was to sell these for between 60 and 70k, so I'll put them up for 63. And right on time, the steel two-handers went through. That's really good, because I was wondering what I was going to do with that leftover 26k. So we bought all those steel two-handers for 34k, and we sold them for 48k. That's not bad. And so I'm going to spend the leftover 37k on monks robes. They're usually selling for 240 each, which is extremely cheap considering they're usually trading for around 400 each. And it looks like the buy limit is 125, I did not know that. And so having a look at the recommended price, it looks like I could sell these for 490 each. Alright, so it's time for me to log off for a bit. We've got some pretty low volume items in here, so I'll be leaving these for around 10 to 12 hours or so. And 10 to 12 hours later, here we are. It's the night of the second day, and this looks absolutely beautiful. Everything except the shaman masks and teleports have completed. And after collecting everything, we've got 434k and some items here which we need to sell. Sadly, the margin on Bandos Miters isn't as insane as it was before. The recommended selling price is now only 49k. But fortunately, Shazy and Hoods didn't fall back down in price. Quite the opposite actually, I think I can sell it for 95k. And it looks like I can get rid of these shaman masks pretty quickly if I put them up for 25k. Yeah, there we go, nice. Another 51k to work with. So today we made a whopping 76k on the discs, a 30k profit on the monk robes, and finally a 33k profit on the shaman masks. So something that I didn't actually realise before is that Ifarate's aid is actually a piece of topaz jewellery. Now, I'm not sure how useful these actually are. I mean, their special use is for fighting vampires, which is pretty niche and weird. However, since they're made from topaz, and topaz jewellery usually trades for around 4k, I'm not so sure I want to sell them for only 1k each. If I look at how much I've been trading for for the last month, I think that this could actually be a pretty crazy dump that I've managed to buy up. I mean, I don't usually merch like this, but I really think that they could sell for 4k if I leave them for a while. And also, since their ALK price is 855 GP, I think picking them up for 300 each is an absolute steal. So I'm actually going to put up an offer to buy some more. 
So with that said, we've got 365k to work with. Let's find some more items to leave overnight. So the first item that I found is Saradome and Mitres. Right now they're going between 37k and 60k. If they're anything like Bando Smiters, this looks like a great flip. This looks like another dump that we want to buy into. Pineapple pizzas usually trade for around 600 each, but just recently they've crashed to 260 each. I'll put up an offer for 300 GP. For the last week, mummy hands have been going for anywhere between 500k and 200k. The volume is very low, but since we'll be leaving these overnight, that's actually fine. I'll put up an offer to match the latest price of 201k. And the last item that I found is Mystic Dust Starves. The graph has been bouncing around between 35k and 60k for the last week, which looks really nice. And just recently, they've been trading for as low as 28k. So that's how much I'm going to buy them for. And that's looking pretty good. These are the offers that I'll be leaving overnight. I'll be logging out and checking these tomorrow. And it's day three of episode four. This is going to be the last day of this episode before I wrap things up. And now the first thing that I can see is that the Afarate's aids have actually started selling for 4k. That's a really, really good sign. If these say around 3900, we will be making a seven to eight times return on this flip. Let's collect everything up and see how we're going. So now we've got almost 700k cash now, some of Farate's aids, the Saradome Miters, and some Dust Starves. Since it's day 3 of this episode, I think it'll be a good time to wrap things up and begin the liquidation phase. Since it's only the morning and I don't plan on checking my office until night time, this liquidation phase is going to be relatively extended. Instead of putting my items up to get rid of them, I'll leave them for around 12 to 14 hours or so. And yeah, it's also the case that I don't want to dump these rings, because I think they might just keep selling for the higher price. So we want to sell the Saradova Miters. Looking at the latest price, I can see that they've been selling for around 63k. And the Dust Starves that we bought for 28k look like they could sell for 59k. So with Afarate's aid, the latest price is actually 3900 which is actually me, that's what I was selling it at. So I'm the reason for this little channel over here. Since the only person I was competing with was myself here, I'll just put it up for 3900 again. So now to look at our profits. We bought the Bandos Midas for 177k, and we sold them for 245k, that's a 68k profit. The Shazian Hoods we bought for 55k and we sold for 95k for a 40k profit. And the Afarate's Aid we bought 100 for 50k, and we sold 15 for 58k. So yeah, so far so good. And we also managed to pick up another 2 last night for 300 each. It's really good to see some of the Afarate's aids are actually selling. Okay, so it's the end of day 3 and everything's finally sold. I had these rings up all day, but they were taking so long to sell so I had to keep on lowering the price. I finally managed to get rid of them for 1740 each. Now that everything's sold, let's have a look at our bank. 1.25 mil. So first up, the Sara Midas made us around 38k. We bought them for 37k each, and we managed to sell one of them for 63k. The second one was taking a bit too long to sell, so I put it up for 49k. For the Afarate's aids, 102 of them were bought for 51k, and all in all, they sold for 270k. That's not bad, but I was hoping to sell them for around 400k in total, but it just turns out that nobody was really buying them. And finally the Dust Starves. Bought them for 113k, sold them for 238k. Nice, quick and easy 125k profit. So that marks the end of episode 4 of flipping from a bronze dagger to an AGS. This episode we started with 369k and we finished with 1.25 mil for a profit of 888k. With an AGS being worth 19.8 mil at current prices, we are 6.35% of the way there. Cheers for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. As always, if you aren't there already, I hope to see you in the Platinum Tokens Discord. It's the place to be if you want to learn how to flip with others. Catch you later guys, I'll see you in the next episode.